Good morning and welcome to Daily Devotionals with Athena. My name is Athena. And today's devotional is titled, What's Your Passion? And our reading will be from Psalms 20, looks like 6 through 9. So let me get to Psalms 20. And it's going to be verses 6 through 9, so it's going to be just a short little lesson here. All right. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He answers him from his holy heaven. And with the saving power of his right hand, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to their knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. The, o Lord, save the king. Answer us when we call. Alright, and that one there was the words of David. All right, one of the storytellers at my, or sorry, one of the tellers at my bank has a photograph of a Shelby Cobra Roadster on his window. The Cobra is a high-performance automobile built by the Ford Motor Company. One day, while transacting business at the bank, I ask him, if that was his car. No, he replied, that's my passion, my reason to get up every morning and go to work. I am going to own one someday. I understand this young man's passion. A friend of mine owned a Cobra, and I drove it on one occasion. It's a mean machine. But a Cobra, like everything else in this world, isn't worth living for. Those who trust in things apart from God are brought to their knees and fall, according to the psalmist. That's because we were made for God and nothing else will do. A truth we validate in our experience every day. We buy this or that because we think these things will make us happy. But like a child receiving a dozen Christmas presents or more, we ask ourselves, is this all? Nothing else? Something we something is always missing. Nothing this world has to offer us, even very good things, fully satisfies us. There's a measure of enjoyment in them. But our happiness soon fades away. Indeed, God cannot give us happiness and peace apart from himself. C.S. Lewis concluded, there is no such thing. Alright, what have you sought satisfaction in? And how can you find true satisfaction in Jesus? Alright, let's pray. Lord, I come to you today to say thank you for the beautiful day that you have given us. Thank you for the warm weather we've been experiencing here in Oklahoma. My soul is craved for you every day, craving your love. And I thank you for satisfying the longings and for saving me each and every day. Lord, I ask that you protect each one that watches this video. Give them strength in their life and in their mind. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with me today. And thank you for joining me. And I will not be here tomorrow because tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I will not be here Friday because Friday is Christmas Day. 
I will be back on Saturday though and we will talk about 2 Corinthians on Saturday. So, with that being said, my name is Athena. This is Athena's or Daily Devotionals with Athena. And I will see everybody again in a couple of days. Bye-bye.